doing some footage for the Welcome to another edition of Climax Scott's Football TV with a very special SCAA rivalry showdown segment at Pittsburgh. Climax Scott's and Pittsburgh have locked horns in some close battles over the years, but Friday night's clash took the rivalry to a new level as the Panthers held on for a 7-6 victory in a rock'em sock'em affair. Before the game, Coach Kevin Langs talked to his players in the dungeon at Pittsburgh about the game and the special memories the contest would bring. CS entered the contest with a 5-0 record, while Pittsburgh was 4-1, but both teams were tied atop the SCAA standings with 3-0 league records, making this battle huge in the march towards the SCAA title. The game lived up to expectations many thought it would be, with hard hitting and determination surfacing from both sides. The defense certainly rose to the occasion from both schools, with neither team able to enjoy many offensive bursts on the ground or in the air. Pittsburgh managed to move down to the CS 7-yard line with 7.32 left in the second quarter. Facing a fourth and two play, Pittsburgh quarterback Levi Hollis threw an incomplete pass when Justin Satterley made a nice hit on a Wildcat receiver and the ball fell harmlessly to the ground. The defense stood tall again in the fourth quarter with 6.13 left in regulation. Facing a fourth and seven from the CS 32-yard line, Hollis lofted a pass near the goal line that an alert Sam Eschheis knocked to the ground, giving CS the ball. After battling to a scoreless tie through three quarters and most of the fourth quarter, CS finally broke through with 2.39 left in the game when Kirk Gibson found a small opening and broke to the right side, outrunning a host of Wildcat defenders to the goal line on a 13-yard touchdown run. Josh Fleck's extra point kick proved to be the difference. Pittsburgh took the kick following the CS touchdown and started its only scoring drive at its own 46 yard line. The desperate Wildcats went to the air, throwing an incomplete pass and then a 20 yard strike to keep the drive going at the Panther 34 yard line. After Hollis threw an incomplete pass, Malachi Saturday got through for a huge quarterback sack, pushing the home team back 11 yards that set up a third and long from the CS 45 yard line. Undaunted, the Wildcats stole the momentum back with a 35 yard pass play that put Pittsburgh on the CS 9 yard line with 139 left in the game. The Wildcats had new life, setting up a tension packed ending. Pittsburgh picked up five yards on a run, but the CS defense shut the Wildcats down in the next two plays. First on a no-gainer, and then an incomplete pass on a play many CS fans thought was intentional grounding, setting up a big fourth and goal at the Pittsburgh four-yard line with under 30 seconds left in the game. Hollis found an open Lance Horde in the left side of the end zone for a four-yard touchdown play with just 11 seconds left in the game, setting up a big two-point conversion attempt that would determine the outcome of the game. The CS defense resembled a brick wall, stopping the Wildcats at about the four-yard line that set off a huge celebration on the Panther sidelines and in the bleachers where a large Panther throng was stationed. Pittsburgh tried an onside kick, but Zach Nabosny fell on the football near the CS 40-yard line with nine seconds left, and the Panthers ran out the clock on the following play. <laughs> Let's go. 
The Panthers dug down deep for this win, playing without Logan Simmons, Travis Rupert, Logan DeKilder, and starting defensive tackle Robert Thompson was playing through pain with a shoulder injury. The list of injuries was extended with 133 left in the third quarter when Justin Satterley was taken away in an ambulance after he suffered an arm injury. Sam Eshice and Robert Thompson talked about how important the win was and what the big win can do for this team moving forward. Sam Eshice here, uh, what a game tonight, Sam. What can you say about the uh, game tonight, this close game with Pittsburgh? Uh, they're a great team. This whole week and the past couple weeks, we've just been prepared for them. and. They're a hard physical team and they're good. It was fun. Yeah, it's really dug down deep tonight, Sam. You had a couple injuries going in. Uh, yep. your, your teammate went down. Were, were you playing extra hard for Justin there in that second? Oh my word. It, that extra motivation was just crazy. Just playing for your family, your brother. Yeah. It was great. Um, when this is only the sixth game of the year, but will you guys look back and look, is this being one of the key games of the year? Do you think? I think so. It's probably one of the hardest ones so far, and it'll be a memory. Sure. Yeah. Well, it sure was fun, wasn't it? Oh, definitely. On to the end like this, um, how exciting is it for you to hold on for a good Pittsburgh team? It's unexplainable just to be here and get that win by that last one point. And just, you can't even describe it. The team is excited and I'm glad for the team. And we stepped it up after uh, we got a couple of players here. Uh -huh. Point conversion that you guys stopped them on. What happened there? We just put it to them. They, our coach was screaming at us, our teammates were screaming at us, and we just filled the holes and got five or six guys to the, to the ball and stuck it to them. And that's what we pride ourselves on, just keeping our head in the game the whole time, not, not getting down if they tie it up with 10 seconds left. We play till the last. Uh huh. Um, and Robert, when you look at this win, the way you guys won, um, how does this help you going forward now? It uh, really checks us some to know that we're. we're Beatable. We can. It's hard to say. We the last couple of weeks we've been put into teams and shutting teams out. And this time we score our only one touchdown in the last quarter. It's really gonna put us into it, our heads to it. Uh, our coach has been telling us all week that we were gonna get hit in the mouth, and we did, and we were ready for it, and we come back second half. And uh huh. Played and, five minutes, got to football. There you go. Um, and finally, um, were you guys kind of playing for Justin there in that second half? Oh yeah, especially Malachi. He, he went out there and he played hard out, and we all played. We all played for Justin and any other player that got hurt, anybody that come off. We, we played for our brothers. So. Well, it'll be fun going home tonight, then, won't it? <laughs> it's none of us are going to have any voices tomorrow. Yeah, We're singing on the way home. Right, here you go. We'll stop by the Crescent and say hello. Will do. <laughs> CS returns home next Friday for a homecoming clash against Bellevue at 7 p.m. Reporting live from Pittsburgh, this is Scoop for www.theclimaxcrescent.com. Unbelievable. Seniors love you to death. What a game. Go enjoy it with your guests. Yes, sir. What a game. Enjoy your game.